One, and we do come on the air at this hour because there is breaking news coming out of the White House. President Trump has informed FBI Director James Comey that he has been terminated and removed from office. I do want to bring in our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. John, this was unexpected. This is quite a development, David. Uh, he has accepted the recommendations of both the Deputy Attorney General and the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, to terminate, to fire James Comey, the FBI Director. This uh, was not uh, this was not expected, but David, I did ask Sean Spicer, the White House Press Secretary, today, just a few hours ago at his briefing, if the President still had confidence in James Comey, and I was struck by the response. He did not answer yes. Uh, he said that he knew of nothing that had changed earlier statements that he had confidence, uh, but that he would have to go and check with the president again. David, uh, quite a stunning development uh, here at the White House, and it comes after Comey has been under fire for the last 24 hours because it has been revealed that he gave misleading testimony, incorrect testimony, uh, when he was up before Congress last week. John, we should remind the American people at home who've been watching that James Comey has been under fire from both sides of uh, the political aisle in Washington for some time. It was last summer. He came under fire from Republicans who were upset that he revealed after a lengthy news conference about Hillary Clinton that he would not recommend criminal charges. Republicans unhappy with him at the time, Donald Trump in particular. Uh, but then much later in the campaign season, about 11 days before the election, he came out and said he was, in essence, reopening the investigation into Hillary Clinton. And then two days before the election, saying there was nothing there. Pierre Thomas, who covers the FBI, covered that story in great detail. And Pierre, uh, again, a very controversial figure in Washington, making just about everyone in that town unhappy at one point. Exactly, David. But I can tell you this comes as a shock, and it certainly came as a shock to Comey. He had just recently talking, uh, talked about wanting to uh, complete his full term, which goes for another seven years or so. Uh, he talked about all the great work that the FBI had been doing. Uh, he also, as you recall, David, had publicly disagreed with Trump, uh, in which when Trump talked about the fact that uh, the Obama administration had had him under surveillance, uh, Trump uh, had made those statements. The FBI director came out in a hearing and said that was not true publicly disagreeing with his boss, extremely unusual. So, again, there had been tension between the two men, but I can tell you, Director Comey was planning on staying on in this job. And again, as I point out, Pierre, making Republicans unhappy and not pursuing any criminal charges against Hillary Clinton, infuriating millions who supported Hillary Clinton and coming out with that investigation that turned up nothing 11 days before the campaign came to an end with Election Day. And, John Carl, I want to get back to you for just a moment. Because the other major complicating factor here is the fact that the FBI is, in fact, right now investigating any possible collusion between members of the Trump campaign team uh, and Russia. And now the head of the FBI has been fired. Yes. And you remember the attorney general, Jeff Sessions, has recused himself from any involvement with cases involving Russia. So Comey was an especially critical figure in that investigation, along with the deputy attorney general. Now, I have also received, David, a letter uh, from uh, President Trump that has just been released uh, explaining a little bit of his reasoning. He says that he accepted letters from both the attorney general and the deputy attorney general. And he says, quote, I have accepted their recommendation and you are hereby terminated and removed from office effective immediately. This is a letter that I am told was just sent within the hour to FBI Director James Comey. Uh, he goes on to say, while I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I am not under investigation, I nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Department of Justice that you are not able to effectively lead the Bureau. Uh, so as you pointed out, he has been under fire from Democrats, certainly from the Clinton campaign and people who were you know, associated with the Clinton campaign. Uh, but also, uh, Donald Trump has expressed great frustration with Comey as well. Uh, just last week, tweeting that Comey should have uh, prosecuted Hillary Clinton in the email case. I want to get back to what you just said there, John, that comment now issued by the White House and President Trump. Uh, you said that President Trump talked about conversations with James Comey and that Comey said to him on several occasions, you are not under investigation. And yet at the same time, we do know that the FBI, James Comey, did confirm that there is an ongoing investigation into uh, people who were associated with the Trump campaign and any possible collusion with Russia. Obviously, we don't have the results of that investigation. Is that not correct? 
Uh, that is right. That is certainly a, an investigation that is in its early stages, an investigation uh, into what exactly the Russians were doing and whether or not there was any collusion on a part of any uh, Trump associates. That is far from resolved. What was said, though, at uh, most recently at a hearing yesterday on Capitol Hill by James Clapper, the outgoing, the, the former director of national intelligence, is that there is no evidence yet of collusion. There is no evidence. But this investigation is very much in its early stages. It is an FBI investigation that was being led by James Comey. It is also an investigation that is being uh, separately done by the Senate Intelligence Committee and by the House Intelligence Committee. So uh, we're, we're, we're far from the end of that investigation. All right, John, stay tuned. I know you have much more on World News tonight on this breaking headline. Let's get to Pierre for one last question. Pierre, the, the obvious question for so many people likely at home, who, who takes over the FBI next? We know uh, that the FBI director is usually appointed for a 10-year term. James Comey had been appointed under President Obama, had served, I believe, about three and a half years of that term. So what comes next? Well, David, the president will obviously have to consult Congress to try to come up with a candidate that both sides of the aisle can deal with and would support. But again, just to emphasize what Johnson just said, you had the FBI director engaging in an investigation of the White House in terms of looking at uh, whether uh, Trump associates colluded with the Russians in any way, shape, or fashion during the last presidential election. The fact that that man has now been, has been fired is, will be a critical question, and we'll be hearing a lot from the Democrats, David. Yeah, it's an extraordinary headline. I do want to get back to John, who has new reporting. And John, as you heard Pierre, uh, we cannot underscore, you know, in, in recent memory, an FBI director being fired who's actually investigating uh, possible associates linked to the current president. Yeah, but I have to tell you, David, I just got a letter. It's a lengthy letter, a three-page letter from the deputy attorney general going chapter and verse as to why he was recommending that Comey be fired. Uh, just going through this, one thing that immediately stands out is this sentence, David. The director was wrong to usurp the attorney general's authority on July 5th, 2016 and to announce his conclusion that the case against Hillary Clinton and her emails would be closed without prosecution. It is not the function of the director to make such an announcement. You remember that was that highly dramatic press conference that was held last summer where, uh, where uh, FBI Director Comey was quite critical of Hillary Clinton and how she handled the emails but announced that he did not have enough uh, to prosecute and he was closing the case. So this says that that was wrong. He said compounding the error, the director ignored another long-standing principle. We do not hold press conferences to release derogatory information about the subject of a declined criminal investigation. Uh, very harsh words here directed from the Justice Department towards the FBI director. I also have here, uh, David, a much shorter letter from the Attorney General from Jeff Sessions, also uh, with some pointed words about James Comey. Just listen to the end of this. Uh, the director of the FBI must be someone who follows faithfully the rules and principles of the Department of Justice and who sets the right example for our law enforcement officials and others in the department. Therefore, I must recommend to you, you remove Director James Comey. Remarkable statement. He is saying that effectively James Comey uh, was not an appropriate role model for law enforcement in the country and did not uh, reflect those ideals and those principles. That's from the Attorney General. Really, he's not only fired here, uh, David, this is uh, a, an indictment of, of his term and his actions uh, during the course of the election. John, we do have that video that happened shortly after Donald Trump was elected president, his meeting at the White House after the inauguration with James Comey. The joke in the room that you're the only one perhaps more famous than I am at this point, President Trump said to obviously the very tall James Comey, who's what, 6'7 or 6'8, but, John, I want to drill down on what you just reported there, because that July press conference was fairly unorthodox. Uh, it did break with precedent. James Comey coming before the public uh, in holding a news conference, laying out a case, uh, a scathing case against Hillary Clinton and her use of email, but then at the very end of the news conference saying he would not recommend criminal charges. 